following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Garden Gate. Today's visit takes us to the National Historical Society for a very special Arbor Day dedication. A newly planted tree that now proudly graces the Society's grounds. If you've never visited the Abbott's Falling House, and the Florence H. Spear Memorial Museum, well now's the time. These beautiful and well-maintained treasures are cared for by a dedicated staff and volunteers whose motto, preserving the past for the future, is a true labor of love. Good morning, this is Linda Temperino and this is another, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Garden Gate. We're at the Nashua Historical Society today and we are celebrating Arbor Day. And this is Tom Davis and he is from Beaver Brook Association. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Thank you for having us. We tell appreciate us, it. Tell us about uh, what you guys do out at Beaver Brook. Well, Beaver Brook is a uh, 2187 acre uh, private nonprofit land conservation and nature education organization that uh, has about 1,900 acres in Hollis, uh, 100 contiguous acres in adjacent Brookline, and 200 acres uh, that are not contiguous over in Milford. And uh, our focus, as I said, is on land conservation and nature education. We uh, we educate over 15,000 students and adults each year at various um, venues, whether it's class trips or our summer youth camp or our evening programs for adults. And it's, uh, it's a pretty special place, I gotta tell you. It, it's quite beautiful. We did a segment out there, um, I think it was last summer, or perhaps it was the summer before, and uh, the grounds are beautiful. And I could just picture what it's like to have a wedding out there. It must be lovely. Well, it's ironic that you should ask that question because my daughter was married last summer uh, at a church in Hollis and had her reception over there at uh, Beaverbrook. And it was an absolutely gorgeous uh, event on June the 27th. Uh, we have uh, one of our best kept secrets are the 12 themed gardens that they have behind the Maple Hill Farm there at Beaverbrook on Ridge Road. And um, we're just quite pleased and proud to have them there. Well, my favorite is the herb garden. It, it is beautiful. It is fantastic. Uh, absolutely. So, you've got quite a setup here. What are you going to be doing today? Well, we're just exposing visitors to what Beaverbrook is about. We have some information about Beaverbrook, um, have some information about our summer youth camp. Um, We've brought some uh, syrup that is manufactured over in uh, Mason by syrup that comes from our Maple Hill Farm trees. Oh, nice. So uh, we like to say that uh, this syrup uh, comes from Beaverbrook. Absolutely. And uh, we have trail maps. Beaverbrook has over 35 miles of uh, recreational trails for hikers, for uh, equestrians on some uh, trails, uh, mountain bikes on some trails. But uh, it's uh, quite a, a popular place for people to uh, exercise and go out there and have a picnic. Absolutely, absolutely. It's lovely. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your inviting us to be here. I hope you enjoy today's festivities. Oh, well, I'm sure we will. We'll certainly have the perfect day for it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's the perfect combination, kids and animals, enjoying each other's company. As you can see, Badger the Ram had no problem with the attention Lauren, Lily, and JJ showered on him. He also posed for his close-up. Well, we've moved to the front of the Historical Society 
And we're here today because of the dedication of this beautiful hawthorn tree. This is Kevin Fredette from Gate City Tree, and he planted it. And I see on the plaque it is in. It's dedicated to Jeannie Sace. Jeannie Sace. That would be the uh, uh, wife of Ted Sace, who owns. Uh, Seiko tree. Oh um, yes, yes, in yes. In Nashua, that I would be. I know, I know the name. And this is a hawthorn tree. Yes, beautiful how, tree. How, how many years is this right now? Probably this tree here is probably in the stages of like five to six to seven. Uh huh. They do grow very, very, very slow, and uh, which is good. Uh, it's a slow-growing tree, which uh, um, uh, is quite opposite of what a lot of these trees that are behind us. So. As long as we have a combination of slow growing trees, big trees and small trees, and it, uh, I think it's fitting that we dedicate this one tree here to uh, Jeannie Sace. Mm -hmm. um, uh, such a nice lady, uh, well known person throughout the world, and uh, had a huge caring of people that uh, had followed her. Uh, very nice lady, and I don't think it's a, uh, we, could, we couldn't have picked a better day. <coughs> A, a better tree and a, a better person to dedicate this uh, hawthorn tree. That's lovely. How big will this tree get? This tree we should get. Well, we have a uh, we have the uh, copy of the tree that we had to cut down here uh, last year. Yeah, uh, that particular trunk on that tree was only about a foot to a foot and a half at the most. So uh, this tree will get about uh, 20 feet tall. Mm -hmm. It will probably get like 15 feet wide. And as long as someone uh, maintains it and cures it like uh, uh, we, they have been doing here for the last 20 years, I have been here for the last 20 years taking care of the Historical Society's trees. Mm -hmm. And uh, You've done a great job. They look like they're in pretty darn good shape for their age. They're, these trees are in impeccable shape and uh, we have a very uh, diverse uh, application of trees here. We have a horse chestnut down at the corner, one of the most beautiful trees. Uh, we have a warp, gleaming white birch on the side over here and we have these huge sugar maples behind us. We have uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, trees, uh, uh, walnut. the walnut tree in the back that we dedicated back a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. This piece property is pristine and uh, uh, we can tell from the last five years that this property has uh, made major uh, improvements to it. It's, 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 a beautiful, it's a beautiful site, it certainly is. Well, thank you so very much for I, all your work. Well, I do thank you and uh, I appreciate the, the uh, Historical Society for letting us dedicate this tree in memory of Jeannie's Hayes. Okay, thanks again. Thank you so much. The introduction was given by President Joanne Ouellette. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. This means a lot to me, my family, my friends. Um, Jeannie was also very into trees. Uh, she learned a lot from being around me and really got into trees. So uh, I'm very happy that we have a tree here that we all can watch grow. Uh, we know her love, share her love, and it um, means an awful lot to me. I'm a New Hampshire certified arborist and uh, love trees. You've got some beautiful trees here, very old trees. They all need care, just like us. Uh, we've put a lot of time and effort into these trees, and thank everybody for supporting us with this but um, I want everybody to come by here every once in a while and take a look at we're gonna call this genie's tree and we'll all be very happy to see this grow and flourish uh, I want you to enjoy today uh, go along and look at some of the trees here and when you go home Look at your trees. Trees are like your best friends. They're impossible to replace. Oh. I just want to, again, thank you all for being here and uh, enjoy your day.
have Margaret Gano over in the back there. Wave, Margaret. Okay. Recently retired from the society. And Judith Jones, who is a member, and the two of them together are dynamic. Absolutely dynamic. Um, The Martha Washington Hawthorne tree was affected by a blight and replaced by another of the same species. These triangle manhole covers were unique to Nashua. Their design was introduced in 1919. Walter Ellis of Nashua Foundries, Inc. made the pattern and mold. They were on display and for sale during today's event. Goody table provided by society members. Check out their website, nashuahistoricalsociety.org, for the days and hours they're open. Well, thanks for joining us today here at the Historical Society. This is their second Arbor Day. They had the first one two years ago, and uh, it's been quite successful. We had a good turnout, lots of fun, lots of animals, lots of kids. So, so please join us again. Bye for now. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or under.